God. I'm not offended. Now I could do an entire video about being offended by Justin Trudeau, not being offended by Justin Trudeau, not caring about old conservatives being offended by Justin Trudeau, which is what they actually complained about older liberals doing, but you wouldn't want to see a video about that. Okay, I guess I get it, early 90s, nobody really cares. You go to blackface in blackface for a party and it's pretty funny, I guess some people laugh. But then when you're like 30, and you go to an Arabian Nights party dressed as Aladdin. First of all, Aladdin's not even black. He's that brown. You go He's on stage in blackface and sing a song about a guy working in a banana shipment, I don't know, institution factory. Like this is your... So please tell me, what, what does a, a blackface have to do with a whitewater rafting trip? So he doesn't even remember how many times he's done blackface? How many times has the average person done it? I'm gonna guess zero, but you can't remember how many times. You're basically taking any chance you can get to do blackface. That's really weird, bro. I came across this tweet from Senator Denise Batters that said this: When tweets from this liberal candidate are too offensive to be quoted in media reports, why doesn't Justin Trudeau think they're offensive enough to dump him as a candidate? Hashtag fake feminist. To which I replied, faux outrage is part of the reason the conservatives are losing votes to the PPC, the People's Party. Digging up people's obvious joking tweets from their past does not win points with anyone but the media. Now, suffice to say, old conservatives didn't like this. And before I get to the problematic tweets, I'd like to point out what is obvious to me about Denise Batters. She doesn't understand the internet. Donald Trump, Dave Chappelle, rap music, Bill Burr. There's a lot of people and things that people like today that others consider offensive or problematic. And despite them being offensive to some people, the reason others like them is because they don't care if they're offensive. They don't care if they're politically incorrect and they don't care if they come across as offensive to some people. Because the majority of people find it funny or just don't watch. Now, take a guess, a goosey gander at who those people might vote for. If they're sick of the liberals and the democrats being offended by everything, you would think that would push them over to the side that doesn't really care about the, these things, that doesn't get offended, that doesn't try to get people fired or deplatformed for old tweets, for example. Who would they vote for? Oh, that's right, the conservatives. But instead, they think it's a great idea to pretend to be outraged, to fill that outrage void, to appeal to the 80-year-olds on Twitter, or the far-left liberal uh, journalists who probably don't agree with them at all, but they'll agree with them on this, and even though they won't vote for them and won't tell other people to vote for them, then it's a good idea to get those 20 people to agree with you. Liberal candidate apologizes for past racist, homophobic, and sexist social media posts. The first one, Cleaning, folding, cooking, feeling like an epic fail that I haven't found a woman who can stand me long enough to do this for me. He posted Christmas jingles with some sort of broken English accent. Another one, why do I assume every skinny Aboriginal girl is on crystal meth or pills? Hashtag APTN, which stands for the Aboriginal Television Network. So obviously he's joking watching shows on this channel and they're about drugs or something. Men's tennis sounds like gay porn. Now the actually only offensive thing is the fact that he was wearing a hammer and sickle t-shirt which is representing communism which is obviously a bad idea. However, what if he was just joking? I don't care. It's just some guy's shirt in 2012, 2013, whatever. And if you tell me that you're offended by these clearly joking tweets, unless you believe that he hates all these people. He hates gay people, he hates natives, he hates women, he hates tennis players. If you're gonna tell me that you're offended by all this I'm not going to believe you. I just won't. I've spoken to hundreds, literally, of people about the Justin Trudeau blackface thing, and 99% of them have either not been offended, just thought it was stupid, not thought it was racist, said it was distasteful, but don't think he's racist, or just don't care. People don't care. They don't care that you did one thing wrong. It's the media and the Twitter people that have ulterior motives to ruin somebody's career for their own gain that actually care and feigning outrage to appeal to those people doesn't make you look good. Now the Liberal Party seems to have figured out that nobody actually cares because they're not firing the guy. Trudeau won't remove Jamie Baptiste from Liberal roster for racist, sexist social media posts. The Conservatives have called on Trudeau to fire Baptiste, zeroing in especially on the sexist comments, including one that joked that a woman's role is to clean, cook, and fold laundry. 
It says right there, it's joked. You can't be making these jokes, you guys. It's a problem. The number one reason people have been leaving these democratic parties, these liberal parties, is political correctness and everything that comes with it. The cultural uh, significance surrounding being offended, word policing, thought policing, deplatforming, gender pronouns, all this cultural stuff is why people are leaving these parties. So the conservatives say, well, we better get all offended now to fill that gap. To fill the gap of being offended by silly and stupid things. Surely that will win us all the votes. Like I said on Twitter, I'm more than happy to go on a podcast or a TV show to talk with this senator about why this is a bad idea and why nobody actually cares about these jokes. Now, I'm assuming she's never going to respond to this. However, you, she's only got 15,000 followers, and that's not a dig at her. That's You could reach so many more uh, audience members by doing something like this and maybe backtracking a little bit because it's silly. But no, nobody cares about Canadian politics. They don't want to make it exciting. They don't want to talk about actual things and go against the grain at all. The Liberals have fallen down so far, but the Conservatives don't want to be any different. They just want to be safe and secure and pine for those people from 1965 who were protesting Vietnam that are still on Twitter, 80 year olds that still care about this sort of things and left-wing journalists that might agree with them for five seconds. So you can clamor on Twitter for people that are over 80 years old or are sitting around looking for things to be offended by with your 513 likes. And please, somebody at home, do the calculation for me as to how many votes that will equal. I'll give you a hint. It's somewhere right around 0.0. .0. That's what you're clamoring for. 513 likes? Do you think that's doing anything for you? 